You know what? There's something I have to get off my chest. I'm sick of hiding it, and while it's an unpopular opinion, I just have to say it. I came to you before without Korn as a shit god and shit faction, and I'm back at it again here. Bretonia is a garbage shit tier cringe faction that deserves to be wiped from existence and I just can't hide that anymore. And god damn it, it's time I told the world and convinced it that I'm in the right. Now you might be saying, oh look, the idiot who lost to Korn in 8th edition is complaining that he lost to another match of Warhammer. Big fucking surprise. And to that I just have to say, you're wrong. See, Bretonia was annihilated from Warhammer long before I got into the hobby, so like with Korn, there's absolutely no bias here. Even though I was totally in the right with Korn being shit, but I already talked about that. So rest assured, because what I'm about to tell you here is nothing but subjective objective truths and logic, because I couldn't have possibly played against Bretonia. GW had already taken it behind the shed and killed it alongside Fantasy in what was perhaps the greatest decision they've ever made. Killing Bretonia, not Fantasy, that is. I'll hold that grudge in my heart forever. Now as for why they're shit, allow me to enlighten you with some reasons. First off, Look at these stupid idiots. Do you see anything wrong here? These losers don't even know what time period they're living in, fucking morons. What, did they miss the part where the calendar in fantasy was at like 2517? Look at me, I'm too good for things like technological innovation or the industrial revolution and its consequences. I already know what the horse molesters in the comments are gonna say, but pancreas, they're so behind in tech because the rulers enforce a medieval feudal society and economy, and also the wood elves manipulate them on top of that. Yeah, alright buddy, so that's just the end of it, huh? No traitor from Bretonia ever visited the Empire and saw their massive military with the best guns and equipments the Renaissance could buy. None of them ever saw a goddamn tank and went, hmm, maybe I should invest in that. That seems like it'd help with the beastmen are shitting on my stupid little dirt town. I don't buy a one bit that not a single Bretonian ever successfully was able to go against the grain in secret and get some goddamn modern tech. Actually, I take that back. I do buy it because every single one of them is a Sigmar damned fool. Second, Every single one of them fucks horses, so if you support Bretonia, then you must fuck horses, you disgusting pervert. A single horse in Bretonia will eat better than the village he's in. Everything revolves around horses for these people. Gotta feed the horse, gotta take care of the horse, gotta stick my cock at the horse. It's so bad that a punishment for knights in the lore involves forcing them to have to travel by carriage instead of riding on a horse like a proper knight. These troglodytes are so stupid that they think riding in a carriage is dishonorable because I guess having your balls chafe after 12 hours of straight riding is the true test of manhood. And it gets worse because on top of their culture being horse, their army is ultimate one-hit wonder and that hit is of course horse. What, you want something other than cavalry? You want a diverse roster like the Empire or High Elves or, I don't know, literally any other faction in the game? Nah man, you get horses and people who eat dirt for nourishment. Let me remind you, they're in a universe where rat people have energy weapons and the dwarves have helicopters like it's the Vietnam War. I mean, even the peasants who are treated like medieval serfs because that's what they are and all they can ever hope to be, consider horse riding to be the highest form of entertainment. Whatever, bud. I'm sure your ugly peasant wife loves riding your horse, you cuck. And speaking of getting cucked, every single one of them thinks they're watched over by the Lady of the Lake and that she gives their knights ultimate power. Which on their own would be, you know, fine if a bit unoriginal, but it's all a lie they fell for line and sinker. It's just the elven god Lilith pretending to be a human goddess so she can have an army of super soldiers to manipulate and eventually turn into the new world's gods when the old one goes kaput. They're an entire faction with cocks at the top. If Bretonia were to theoretically take over the Warhammer world, the elves would still win. This not only proves that elves are the best and I'm right to be an elf simp, but that the entire nation of Bretonia can't even think for itself and they're dumb and smell and should be executed. On the topic of gods, they also fail to worship Sigmar or Ulrich, which is a fucking travesty, let me tell you. Not only because Sigmar is badass, and infinitely better than the god skeleton of mankind, but because he's just the best god Warhammer has ever made. And Ulrich's not far behind. Humanity needs some help? Sigmar doesn't try and pull off this convoluted scheming bullshit where maybe you let your demigod sons fall to heresy, maybe you didn't, maybe everything is going exactly as planned but definitely trillions are going to die. Just whack the thing causing issues on the head and be done with it. It isn't that hard, Emperor, you fucking failure. Where was I? Oh right, Bretonia doesn't worship any cool gods and sucks for that too. Going back to the elves for a moment, did you know that Bretonians are so obsessed with knights because they're just fanboys of the high elf silver helms? When Bretonia was just a bunch of cavemen squatting in the hills and eating their own shit, something which hasn't changed for most of them, chaos invaded the world and started, you know, being chaos. Wrecking the place up, making things difficult for everyone, stuff like that. And when the High Elves, being awesome, pushed Cass's shit right back in, they of course used their cavalry to help because why wouldn't you? But apparently some orders got scrambled and they must have used nothing but cavalry in the land that would become Bretonia because the cavemen Frenchmen saw these units and were like, me like that, me do. And ever since then, they've been obsessed over their horses. On top of being unoriginal at a meta level, they're unoriginal in universe. Speaking of originality, if you read roughly... I don't know, five seconds of Bretonian lore, you'll realize that they're just King Arthur, the faction. Like the Green Knight. God, I wonder what that's inspired by. I mean, the Lady of the Lake is 
just the lady of the lake. They did not try at all for Petonia, did they? I mean, you know, I get it. Originality is hard. And, you know, again, the empire I love is just the Holy Roman Empire. But at least they've got magic and tanks, for God's sake. Dwarfs may have been Games Workshop's copy and paste of Lord of the Rings like everyone else. But they added slayers and grudges. Those are fucking awesome. Go read any ten random pages from a Godric and Felix book and tell me slayers don't kick ass. But of course, that was too much for Petonia, wasn't it? Couldn't even mix it up and just call them the Turquoise Knight or some shit. All they get is horse sodomy. And of course, they mistreat all their citizens, which is a mixed bag. Because on the one hand, mistreating Bretonians is something I'm very much in favor of. But on the other, they're just being total dicks about it. It's like North Korea and Bretonia, but with more horses. Oh, you think you can ask me, a knight, for an additional slice of bread? You should be honored I'm even looking at you, shitbird. Back to the fields with you. And they're so goddamn arrogant about their knighthood that they make elves look like the epitome of being humble. Which is ironic, because some Empire artillerymen knocking back a few brews of their cannon could annihilate half the Bretonian army by accident. It's like they took the Imperium's attitude towards its citizenry, but they don't have the whole galaxy-spanning empire with quadrillions of people in it factor that justify mistreating a city or two. Think all these points aren't enough? How about this? Bretoni and Old Lore used to be threatening to invade the Empire. And that right there should be enough to convince anyone. I mean, the Empire is Karl Franz's room, and Karl Franz is the most amazing, charismatic, sexy character to ever be invented. Come on now, you can't just do Carl Franz like that. He's Carl Zog and Franz. Yet another negative you ask for? Well, don't mind if I do. Bretoni in the End Times was basically destroyed off screen, with the entire army being reduced to one guy's band of like 30 knights. Now, you might say this is just Games Workshop's shitty writing and favoritism showing again, or the End Times being the awful thing it was. But clearly this isn't the case. This is simply Bretonia being inferior as they are. In fact, they were so bad they died with the setting itself. You just can't buy Bretonians in Age of Sigmar. They're gone. That's it. Donezo. You know, I prefer fantasy, don't get me wrong, but can a setting without Bretonia really be that bad? And finally, most damning of all, is this. I am bad at fighting cavalry in Total War games. Bretonia is an army almost entirely consisting of cavalry. I do not know how to kill the horses properly, and they always make my Grom playthroughs and Mortal Empires complete misery. And once again, as with Korn, this can't possibly be my fault, because I am a peerless tactician and strategist. I see how all possible outcomes end before my eyes as fate dances like a puppet to my will. Zinch doesn't have shit on me. So clearly the fault lies with the other party for cheating and being so dazzlingly awful they stun me with the sheer amount of bullshit I'm looking at. The only thing I can say Bretonia has going for it is that they have drip. Sweet, merciful elf cuck god, the Bretonians are dripping. It may be entirely unoriginal drip, but you know, even me and my hatred for all things horse can't completely dismiss this. I want to, but even with my hatred for all things horse, I just don't have it in me. In conclusion, Bretonia is bad, and I'm right, and they suck and should be removed from reality in the game and everything else. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Take care out there. Just beautiful.